Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Sephran Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. I'm super excited today because we finally get to start exploring decks from Kaladesh Standard, and we got a sweet one. This is Artificer Aggro, recently took a Magic League user by the name of Hades to a top 8 finish in a Magic League event, so congrats to Hades on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break it all down, if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Artificer's Aggro is this really cool, aggressive Boros deck that has some really neat sub-themes going on. So first off, the main package of the deck is creatures with the type Artificer and Inventor's Goggles. So we get Inventor's Apprentice and Toolcraft Exemplar, both just super above the curve one drops. Inventor's Apprentice, if you have an artifact, which your deck always should, because it has a ton of artifacts, will be a 2-3 for 1 mana Toolcraft Exemplar, if there's an artifact, and again, we should always have one, is a 3-2 when it's attacking. These creatures are just way above the curve for 1 mana, to the point where creatures with these stats are modern playable, and we have two of them as one drops in standard at the same time. A very mechanic, a little weird, a 2-2 two, two for two. The main thing here is it has the Artificer subtype. So why does the deck want all these Artificers? Well, the payoff for Artificers is Inventor's Goggles, a one mana equipment. Gives a creature plus one, plus two. Not that exciting. Plus one, plus two isn't that much. The big deal is whenever an artificer enters the battlefield, you get to equip it for free. It's normally two to equip. You get to equip it for free, though, if the creature is an artificer when it enters the battlefield. So say you play Inventor's Goggles on turn one. On turn two, if you play an Inventor's Apprentice, you get to equip it up for free, and your Inventor's Apprentice is going to be massive. It's going to be a three, five on turn two, just so above the curve. Toolcraft Exemplar, same thing if you equip it, it's going to be a 4-4, four, four, which is also super far above the curve. So this package allows the deck to really explode out of the gates early and get in early beats on the opponent. The deck also has a couple of Stonehaven Outfitters, kind of weird. It works with the equipment synergy, but mostly it's just a 2-2 two, two for 2, a filler on curve type creature. They has some slight benefit. If you get the goggles equipped, the creature gets even bigger, draws a card when it dies, but really it's just a 2-2 two, two for 2. The other big package in the deck is Depala Pilot Exemplar, which cares about dwarves, giving them plus one, plus one, also cares about vehicles, and the deck plays a bunch of both. The big payoff for Depala is you can pay X when she becomes tapped, and of course you can tap her to a vehicle, so you can do it without attacking, and then when you pay that X, you get to look at that many cards and grab all the dwarves and vehicles from among them. So the deck plays a total of 14 dwarves and vehicles, not counting other copies of Depala, which pushes up to like 17, which means... If you can pay four, you're almost always going to be drawing a card. Really powerful in a Boros deck that doesn't always have card advantage. So, of course, Depala pumps up Toolcraft Exemplar and Aviary Mechanics. So, you have a kind of dual synergy there. They work with the Artificer theme, also with the Dwarf theme. And then, you get some vehicles. Smuggler's Copter, one of the best cards in Standard, at least from the early results we've seen. Just very above the curve is a three-powered, three-toughness flyer for only two mana. Let's you loot. It's just really good. And then Fleet Wheel Cruiser and Sky Sovereign, a little bit more expensive, still powerful. They're just one-ofs that you can find with the X ability on Depala and help you close out the game in the late game. The rest of the main deck get a couple of stasis snares as removal, takes down just about anything at instant speed, a little better than it used to be since Dramoka's command is no longer in the format to kill enchantments, and then Gideon, just really good big when it's attacking, another way to pump up your creatures with the Anthem Ultimate, and makes a stream of tokens for attacking or blocking. As far as the mana base, Inspiring Vantage, the new Fastland, gonna make enemy color decks very strong and standard, very powerful, Needle Spires, a bunch of creature lands, and then Inventor's Fair gives a way to tutor up artifacts, another reason you can get away with playing one Sky Sovereign, one Fleet Wheel Cruiser, Inventor's Fair can find them in the late game, plus gain a little bit of life and help swing the race that way. As far as the sideboard, a bunch more creatures. Selfless Spirit helps protect against wrath. Bygone Bishop gives you a way to generate card advantage and long
strong grindy matchups, all of your creatures are cheap enough to trigger it, so it's a way to make a bunch of clues. And then Thalia helps slow down opposing decks by keeping their lands or creatures tapped. Stitcher's Graph gives you another equipment you can play. And then we have a bunch more removal. Declaration in Stone and Stasis Snare hit about anything. Ride Down is really good when you're attacking. You can get through a bunch of damage and get rid of a blocking creature. Fragmentize deals with opposing vehicles. And that is Artificer's Aggro for Kaladesh Standard. And that's been our instant deck deck for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you soon.